guys and welcome back to Mutro Ninja and in today's video we are looking at how to set up the new Mutro Ninja signals so in the previous video we looked at these signals here the master signals 3.0 which we've been developing over the last few years and how they are now bringing in a return over 30 days of about 36 percent and if you head over here to the investment planner you can work out just how much you would make with just 36 percent gains each month in fact just here we'll call this 35 percent to say that is our average monthly return and each year or each month of each year we're basically going to be putting in a zero amount of dollars and just sticking with the $1,000 initial investment and to work out how much you're going to be making over those three years hit get results right there and now you can see that over the three years of making 35% per month if that is what you manage to do you would be making 49 million dollars so the master signals 3.0 pretty good strategy there's no doubt about that the only problem that everybody has been having myself included over the last year or so is the fact that the master signals have been a manual process i we would work out the signals and then you'd have to manually go and put on trades for 50 different cryptocurrencies those are the mcn 50 the top 50 coins picked by us on coin market cap and every few hours as those signals come in you would have to place them in manually but now at last we have built a trading bot to trade those signals automatically for you so in just a moment, I'm going to show you how to set this bot up, whether you're on Windows or Mac, all of that is coming. But first of all, I just want to give you a brief, a brief overview of exactly how the bot works. So this is uh, you here. You have the bot shop over on our website. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And on our website, this is uh, how you're going to configure and track all the trades that are made on your bot plus also track all of the fees for each of those trades for your taxes as well uh, and this bot shop all the configuration talks to your dog kennel and if you don't understand this it will make more sense as the video goes on so this the little dog here the your cybertronic pet inside the kennel he is going to get all of the signals from our mutu crypto ninja api the signals will come in based on the strategy that you have chosen over here in the bot shop and then your little cyber friend here in the kennel he's going to grab them signals send them out on the binance api and make those trades now at no point do we ever get to see your Binance API because this is like a decentralized trading bot system. So we aren't like a centralized unit where we're gonna be storing all of your Binance APIs and secret keys on a database here and then we get hacked and the hacker then steals all of your uh, Bitcoin and everything over in the Binance wallet. This is the reason why I haven't gone in for any of those centralized systems myself and I prefer to just build our own system. So great, your cyber dog is in control of your API keys at all times. Plus, there are a limited number of these little cyber pets out there. So you can have a guess for yourself just how we are going to be controlling that number and what sort of crypto blockchain type product we may be coming out with. By the way, everyone that is a master ninja will be getting theirs for free when we do add those in as a feature so yes we need to protect the now number of people that actually are running these bots because we don't want to ddos ourselves as we've got say like ten thousand people all trying to get signals from our server at precisely the same moment every single hour on the hour we don't want to cause problems for ourselves so we do want to limit the number of people which are going to be able to set up bots Plus, also, it protects the strategies from overuse as well. So, obviously, as I'm sure you are aware, the more people that use this same strategy, the less effective that strategy is going to be over time. So, again, we want to limit the number of people using the Master Signals 3.0. And we should also be allowing you and other people to actually build your own strategies and trade those strategies through this system as well. So, just another way to sort of limit everybody from all jumping on the same strategy so your little cyber pooch is going to be loyal and active 24 7 making all of your trades for you there are 12 not enough fingers 
12 breeds available to pick from, so you can pick whichever one that you want that suits your own character. And they love cyber snacks, and we're gonna be getting into those cyber snacks in just a moment. Uh, lives in a techno kennel, being this bit here. So this is what you're gonna have to set up as part of the build, which is gonna be on your own server. It's only gonna cost $5 per month for this little server. Very, very simple setup. And that is what you need to talk to our little bot shop. That's how you configure it. And then gets the signals from the API and sends them out to the Binance API. Then the Cyber Snacks, every month's favorite treat. Basically here at Mutri Ninja, we are not at all into animal cruelty. And we believe that if your little cyber friend does a very good trade for you and makes you a nice little profit, that you should reward him with a little Cyber Snack as a little thank you. So you're not gonna be rewarding him for every Every single trade that he makes. Uh, you're not going to be rewarding him when he just buys into a trade. It's when a trade closes, it closes in a place of profit. So you've made some nice bit of money and you give him a cheap little treat. Keeps him happy, keeps him alert, on his toes, ready for the next deal. And as you see down here, depending on your level of membership, if you're a disciple zealot or a master ninja, or depending on just how much those cyber stacks are going to set you back. So you can buy a pack of 200 and that will be working out about 25 cents each, whereas if you're a master ninja, you can get packs of a thousand, and that actually works out at just 15 cents instead, so 10 cents cheaper. Works out quite a bit cheaper over time. Now, you can pay for your cyber stacks or you can earn your cyber stacks using your own strategy. So if you are a bit of a pro strategist yourself and you've got your own ideas as to how to trade crypto, you can set up your own strategy and for everybody which follows your strategy and they go on to make winning trades using your strategy for every single winning trade, you will earn 0.1 of a cyber snack. So that's basically the leftovers, maybe like the wrapper and a few crumbs that the dogs left behind. And as those little 0.1s add up, that actually adds up to be a nice, what could be a monthly income for you. So maybe if you don't have enough cash right now to really make any decent money from trading, then but you do have a good strategy, then you could just earn this as a monthly income and soon build up your own little bankroll there and make a good sum of money for yourself. So a good way to sort of kickstart your trading career if you're starting off with not a lot. So a little example down there at the bottom. So if you have 500 people following your strategy and they get 200 winning trades per month, then that would give you an income of $1,500 per month. And that isn't that hard to do considering that we already have over 14,000 members on Mutru Ninja. So there we go, just a little heads up of everything that we're building, give you more of an idea of how what, what, what on earth this bot shop is that we're making for you guys. And now let's get into the build, starting off with Windows. First thing that you need to do is head over here to the bot shop up here on the top menu, and you will need to pick your cyber pets. So just click the little icon there, and you'll be able to pick from each one of the 12. As you can see here, not a true likeness, so we are getting these uh, done up properly by an actual graphic designer to make some really good, cool-looking Cybertronic pets. And just pick whichever one that you want, and right now you can choose and swap between dogs as you see fit and uh, right up until the point where we actually release the sort of crypto blockchain version of these pets and uh, from that point what whatever that you've got if you are a master ninja that is what you're going to be getting for free everybody else will have to pay once you've got your dog selection picked there you can just scroll down here and pick whatever strategy that you want so we've only got a handful in there right now so obviously i'm going for the master signals 3.0 because over here on the signals tracker we can see that we're making a whopping 36 percent per month so absolutely and that's 36 percent in bitcoin not us dollars a great little strategy down here you can see the balance so this is all the balances obviously as i'm making this now this is still in development so if you are just like one of the testers testing this out for us right now this probably isn't actually in there for you at all right now and you see some of the numbers there looking a bit funky that's all going to get fixed over the next couple of weeks and uh, it should all be working good 
So that is basically, it's just going to show your, you, your balances, uh, the average open, the amount that you've ha had invested in Bitcoin and the, your profit and loss as it is right now. Okay. So it'll just lets you know if your positions are in profit or if you're currently on a negative with any of those. And then here we have stats and history. Of course, nothing there right now, but there will be soon. So we want to track all of your trades for you. Also the fees as well. So we can work out for your taxes, uh, just how much you can take off of uh, your profits due to the fees. And we'll be taking some inspiration from what you see here with eToro, where they have sort of uh, each year there and your profits and earnings and all that stuff. Obviously, I don't really go on eToro that much anymore because it just costs too much. It's like, what is it, nearly like 4 or 5% just to trade crypto every single time. It's too expensive for me. This bit here, this is settings. This is what you're going to be need for setting up your Cybertronic pet. All, all you're going to need is you're going to need the IP address of the kennel and then you can just generate these tracking chips as often as you like and uh, just choose whatever. Now, down here is your custom crypto list. I've basically included absolutely everything but if for some reason there is a coin which you believe has been too high and it's probably going to come for a big down a uh, big pullback and you don't want to trade it or maybe you just want to limit the number of coins maybe you've selected a few that you think are going to do really really well over the next few weeks and you want to uh, basically ignore everything else you can just deselect those and it won't trade them now right here in the guide if i just open this up so you can click the guide and uh download it, follow along, and what we're gonna have to do is come along here to Vulture to set up your server first of all. We click Cloud Compute and just follow along in the docs. What I'm gonna do right now is show you that in real time. Cloud Compute, that is what you're gonna want there. Now down here, as far as location goes, it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, the internet is fast as fast and it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can pick anywhere that's maybe closest to you. And then down here on server type, this is the important bit, you need to click on application okay there's no point just picking ubuntu and whatever version you want you need to click on application and you need to go for a lamp stack that is linux apache mysql and php we don't actually need mysql or anything like that but it just makes the setup a lot easier for you because we've already got here php 7.3 which is exactly what we need in here and it costs no no extra at all so Pick on that one, we want the lamp stack and go down here. It puts you on 10 pounds per month, but you don't really need that because it's a very simple bot, doesn't use a lot of resources. $5 is gonna be more than enough uh, for your needs. So just click on $5 and then deploy now. So now you are gonna have exactly what you need. You have the API and also the password down here as well, which is what you're gonna be needing to SSH into that server. And down here, basically this is your IP address. And if you click that, you should come to a page which looks kind of like this, it just says Vulture, so that you know that your server is online and it is running. If you have a look up there, in the web browser, you can see just your IP address because IP addresses are just the same as domain names. You don't really need domain names, but obviously they're more human readable. Right, so now we've got the IP address. What we need now is set up Binance. So you go over to Binance, click on API management. So you can see where the link is for that right there. Uh, stick in whatever you want to call it and create your API and you're going to get the API key and API secret. You need to copy these down because you're going to need that for your bot. This is two of the three things that it's going to need. Copy down the API key, copy down the secret. This is enabled by default and also enable spot trading and margin trading. That is all that you need. You don't need to enable anything else for withdrawing funds or anything like that. Please don't do that. All we need is spot trading. And also down here, you want to click this little icon here, little icon uh, checkbox, and just put in the IP address of the server, not your personal IP address, uh, but the IP address of the server that you just created. Put that in there so that basically your API key will only respond to requests from your IP address. Moving on back to the bot shop and this is where we need to set up the little dog chip. So basically you put in the IP address of the server that you just created, click the little button there. In fact, I could do that right now. And every single time you just put in whatever your IP address, click on the get generate new uh, tracking chip and head back on over there to settings and it just gives you a brand new one. Click copy and that is you copied. 
So yeah, all very simple so far, nice and easy for anybody to follow along. Now, this is the more tricky part which people kind of slip up on. This is where we have to SSH into the server. This is part four. So this is your sort of hacking type bit, like Mr. Robot there. You've got to go in on the terminal. And uh, the problem is with Windows, Windows just doesn't really have a very good powerful terminal like in, in Apple Mac. So uh, with this, you need to download something called hyper.is. There should be a link here somewhere. Here it is right here, hyper.is. All you need to do, click there, download and install it. So just open up that hyper.is and what you want to do is write in there SSH and then put in root because that is the username that you have and then at and then copy down the IP address over here to make sure you click that. And when you right click, nothing will appear when it comes to the password as you'll see just now. So hit enter and it should then ask for the password. So all you need to do, you don't have to view it really. You just copy it, just click copy. And as I say, uh, when you right click, you won't be able to see anything, but you just know that it is actually there. It's just the way that the terminal works. Hit enter. And now this should give us access there into the server. And what we want to do now is just bring up those docs again, because we are going to want to follow these step by step. So the next command here is going to be CD dot dot var. Just copy that. Yep, just paste that in there, hit, uh, hit enter, and you should now see that you are now in var www.html. It's basically just a folder structure. Now, if you hit ls, then you should see these files here. You've got a logo.png and also the index file. So earlier on, we were looking at the page, which is on the web server. That is this one right here, where it just has this, uh, this PNG file, this little picture. Uh, that is basically what you can see right there. So this is the sort of the web server front end here. So what we want to do now is just clone the actual bot. So that is this big bit of text right here. Just copy all of that and paste that one in. Hit enter and now this should just be basically cloning your bot, cloning the little kennel ready, ready for the build. If you type in LS again, now you should see that we now have Cryptoshi right in there. So what we need to do is now move into that folder. So just CD and type Cryptoshi. In fact, when you're in terminal, you can just write a couple of the letters and then hit the tab button and that will just finish the uh, the line for you. So, you know, there you go. That's Cryptoshi. And now we're in the Cryptoshi one. And what we want to do now is press nano. Okay. Nano config dot PHP. Hit enter. And now this is where you're going to be copying and pasting in your, um, your tracking chips. So right here, this is where you would just basically, you have to go along with the cursors, so you can't use the mouse or anything like that. And you can just delete what's already there, the tracking chip. And then just as before, you, oh, too many. Uh, you'd basically just sort of paste in whatever it is that your tracking chip is. So for me, I would just head on over to here. There we go, copy there. And then back here, right click, paste it in, and there we go. Do that for both the API key and the API secret as well. Then once you're done, simply hold down Control and press X. So that's Control X. It's gonna ask you if you wanna save it or not. You just press yes, and then hit enter and that puts you back out to this main screen right here. And I believe there is actually only now one step left. So once we've done all that, what we need to do now is hit cron tab, and then it's gonna be pretty much the same as before. We just have to put in this line of code right here. Cron tab dash E. There we go, and that should put us here. So this is where all of your crons, this is basically little bits of code which will run every hour, every two hours, whatever it is that you wanna set it. So you just go here and you copy this line of code here, which means that this uh, is basically gonna run every single hour. So head here again with the cursors, you can go all the way down and then just paste that in where it should be. In fact, there it is right there. So I can just basically uncomment it and uh, there it is, good to go. And again, just hit Control X and then press Y for modified, hit enter, and that is now done. That is gonna run every single hour. 
Now what you can do over back here on the page where your, uh, your server is, basically just say dog. There it is right there. Just says dog, that's your dog running on the server. So that's about all I can show you for that. Basically then what you're gonna have to do is just go over to the trading uh, strategy page where you can see a list of all of the trades for whichever strategy it is that you're following. And then just every hour, check your Binance account, check your recent trades on the Binance and just see that they uh, they are in line with whatever it is that you have here coming through on, on the trading strategy. That way you know that everything is correct. Wow. Do you hear that? Nothing. Complete silence. I absolutely love the new, uh, look, not a MacBook, a, um, what is that, a mini, mini Mac something? Just basically that little box that you get. It costs about the same as the graphics card, which is inside my massive, noisy PC. Uh, so it's really, really cheap. And I think it's probably going to do away with Windows over the next few years. If Windows can't compete with this, this is just crazy. Really, really good for absolutely everything. Anyway, I ain't got time to go into that right now. Let's just jump straight into the Mac and how to set it up. Okay, so same sort of thing here. Basically, you're gonna want the terminal. If you don't have it, it will be somewhere in your normal system stuff somewhere, and it just is just kind of like a black box like that. Okay, now I don't know if we can actually like zoom in like we did here on the it's gonna be pretty much exactly the same as what it was with the with the Windows. So you're gonna come over, you're gonna set yourself up a Nice cheap web server there over on Vulture, wherever on earth that you like. Obviously application, LAMP is the setup that you need because you're gonna need the PHP to run this. Cheap little $5 server, that's all that you need. And obviously what you want there is the IP address. And then you wanna go over here to Mutri Ninja, go over to the bot shop. And once at the bot shop, oh, by the way, there's your snacks. So the, uh, the cyber snacks, that's where you can see those and head on over to the settings and set up for yourself with a new tracking ID. Just put in whatever the IP address is in there. Hit the tracking code. And as you can see, that's just gonna set up a new tracking code for you. So there you go, just copy that because you're gonna be needing that in just a minute. Same as before, exactly the same with Windows. Set all that up, go over to Binance, set up your API keys with a new API thing there in the API manager, get the keys. Don't forget that you want to lock it to the IP address, the IP address that we just got there from uh, from what's going to be your kennel address. Put that in there so that your Binance will only take commands from that specific IP address. And then we come back to the bot shop, choose your dog. So you have to have a dog in order to go inside your kennel, obviously. And uh, set there your IP address, get the tracking code. And then we go on to this part, the important part, which is part number four, which is the kennel construction. This is where we need your Binance account key, the um, the, the secret, and also that tracking chip as well from Mucho Ninja. Uh, so that's the Windows version. We're just gonna be using the basic terminal. And what we need to do now is just SSH root into the, into the server and come over it, click on your IP address and open up the terminal. And what you wanna do is just the same as before, just SSH and then root at and then paste in the IP address. There we go. And then it's gonna ask, do you wanna authenticate or whatever there? Just put yes. And then it's gonna ask for the password. So you just come on over here, copy that and paste that in. Again, just right click and paste that in. You can't see it, that's normal. Don't worry about that, just click enter. You know that it's in there. It's a pain if you have to actually write that in if you on a terminal that doesn't allow it because you don't know if you've made a mistake because you can't see it. So anyway, now we're in. You can see here we're in uh, in Cryptoshi right now. And what you're gonna wanna do is basically move to the folder where your files are going to be. So basically, if I click on this and open up the the IP address in the web server, we can see that is what the site looks like, and that's fine, we don't need to mess with that. But what we do need is this line right here, so CD, there we go, copy that. In fact, let's just copy that, it's gonna be easier. Okay, so paste that in there, so just CD, so we're coming down a directory and then into var, into www, into HTML, 
click enter. So here we are now in var HTML. And if we put in ls again, just as before, we should see we've got a logo and we've got the index.php file. So that is for this page right here. So what we want to do is get the get the, um, the git clone of the bar. And so we take that and we just paste that in here. Okay, click enter, and that's just going to download the bot now and install it onto your server. And if you put in ls again, now you should see you've now got Cryptoshi. So what we want to do is change the directory into Cryptoshi. And just as we did before, if you press tab after just writing in a couple of keys, it should there finish off what it is, just saves you a bit of typing. Click enter, we're now inside, and what we want to do is go over to, oh, not naan, I'm not going to naan bread. I uh, want to go to nano config.php, just as it says over there in the docs. Click that, and this is where you need to use the cursors again and go down and change your tracking IP address. Now, bear in mind, you do have to keep all the syntax in here with the little dots, little quotes, and all the rest of it. If you mess that up, you're going to get a 500 error. So make sure that you don't. Um, Delete oh, anything that you shouldn't, just like I did there. Make sure I add that little dot, little quotation mark back in. Go over here, copy my uh, tracking chip, as I did earlier. Yeah, okay, let's copy it again. Good stuff. And where am I? Over here. Okay, let's just paste that in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that messed up? No, let's just, just click down. There we go. We're okay. So that's what it should look like. Um, I think it's just really just the way the Mac terminal works. I'm not quite so familiar, having only just got this Mac recently. But yeah, that's that's what it should look like. And then do that again with the API key and the API secret there for Binance, making sure all the syntax is correct. And then you're just going to go with uh, Control X to get out of that. Are you sure? You say yes. We want to save it just like that. Click Enter and you're back in the normal server screen. Next, what you want to do is add in the cron tab. So cron tab dash E, hit enter. And what we're going to have to do now, just like it says here in the, in, in the docs, uh, you're going to want this cron tab because you're going to want to automate this function every single hour. So you need to put this in so it's going to operate every single hour. And that's basically this little line of code. This is what we need to copy and paste into this cron tab page. So if you just go down with the cursor all the way to the bottom, and then you should basically just paste it in here. You can see I, there's one that I've done earlier and it's already in there. So that is it. That is all that you need to do. And then once you've pasted that in there, just control X and Y for yes, enter to get out. And then control and D will take you out of the server back to your own computer. And now it is all set up. Now, if you come on over to the browser, just so that you know that it's there, this was the IP address that we were using for this server. And if you put on that slash cryptoshi, what you should find is you should find a dog. In fact, it just says dog. That, that's all that you see. <laughs> okay. So that's just so you know it's there, it's installed, the dog is ready to do its job when it needs to. But that is all that you see for now. If you do actually write in the full address and you put in the dot uh, slash kennel, Dot .php so you can see get the full kennel it will make live trades on your Binance so be careful of that you don't want to be um, basically putting in too many trades when you, you really shouldn't but if you did just want to test it if you felt that maybe it wasn't working and you want to test it you can do that click enter now it's not going to work for me because I didn't actually put in that Binance API key. So if you wait now a while, it will take a while because again, we don't want to DDoS ourselves. We do have like a random amount of seconds that it's going to take before it actually puts the code through so that everybody isn't putting it through at exactly the same minute at the same hour, every single hour on the hour, and we just totally mess up our own servers. So here you can see I've got a big error message there basically says that um, something went wrong because we don't have the right Binance keys. And like I said, we already knew that. So guys, that is it. I know it might be a little bit technical if you've never done it before, but as you can see, it is really, really simple. Just a little 
few copy and paste things to put there into the server and it's, it's just as simple as that. Once it's up and running, you can control everything from the bot shop over on the website, change strategy and change your custom cryptos list and all that type of stuff. And also, hopefully, over the next couple of days, we'll be building that functionality so you can see all of your trade history and your balances and all that stuff as well. Anyway, that is it for now. If you have any good ideas, please do let me know down below. But that is it for me for now. I'll see you all again in the next video.